Hi, my name is JJ Conway. I'm the assistant director on Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and today I'm going to teach you how to draw the new Ninja Turtles. This is our moment. My favorite turtle, Raphael. Whenever I draw, I always start out simple, blocking in the character. That way it's easy to make corrections. Another thing about Raphael's head, he actually does have a bit of a point. So with these turtles, their eyes are not totally round. Instead, they have points. One, two, three, four points. Go big or go home! Raphael's a snapping turtle, and so there's a lot of really interesting and fun details about him. His back shell is very spiky. The front shells of all the turtles, they're all very unique and distinct. Raph's is, it has these spines on the top of it, and it's very angular. It's really fun to draw. It really brings out the character and personality. Just like how each of the turtles is their own different species of turtle, they're all, they're all dressed differently. So in Raph's case, he has arm wraps. It's all about choosing a pose that feels right for that character. Let's do it! He has a bandage on his on his shell. Then I'll throw on a splash of color for the bandanas. Leonardo, he has a lot of personality. Who doesn't love my one-liners? They fire up the team, right guys? They usually start with a boxy shape. However, it's not exactly a box because it kind of tapers out. The mask is really important to the turtle's face because most of them, except for Donnie, don't have any eyebrows. And so especially with Leonardo, use the mask as the eyebrows. Kind of give him some personality, give him an expression with that. Leo's a red ear slider and so he has these stripes on his face. Leonardo has gloves on. Since I'm right-handed, I try to work left to right. That way, I'm not smearing it. You'll ruin a lot fewer drawings. <laughs> Leo also has a pouch on his side. He's the only one that has anything like that on his belt. The top of his front shell, it actually has a bit of a dip to it. Leo, he has a lot of markings on him just from the species of turtle he is. So on his shoulders, he has some stripes. Helps me show the curve of the arm. It gives a lot of information while being a cool little detail. There is subtle indication of the muscles. Donatello, he has a lot of technology, including goggles on his head. Those goggles just come straight off of the sides of the head. Ah, oh boy. Donnie is the only turtle that has eyebrows. <laughs> He's a soft shell turtle. He has these uh, battle shells. It gives him like a technological boost in battles. I can fix this, I can fix this. Donatello's shell has a lot more straight hard edges. So I'm just doing a straight line there. He has a, a kind of turn to his body. And with the legs, I'm just doing simple shapes. He has kind of weird but really fun to draw elbow pads. A lot of Michelangelo's design details are very rounded because he's very youthful and playful. Does this count as a win? You have to make big broad lines so it doesn't end up weird and choppy looking. Don't be afraid to pause and think about what you're going to do next. It's a lot more likely that you're going to make the correct decision.
Michelangelo front shell. It curves up like that. The tail of his bandana is short and curvy. Cowabunga! These are all the tricks that I use every single day to help me make my characters look like the actual characters. We just came for the free pizza! Nick, 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 Nick.